Hi, Brett here today with ShySky.com. Today I'm going to teach you a trick on how to tab solar cells. You have the option when you're ordering your solar cells to have them pre-tabbed or non-tabbed. We're going to be going today with the non-tab. the option when you're ordering your solar cells to have them pre-tabbed or non-tabbed. We're going to be going today with the non-tabbed cells. Now, understanding that cells do come in different sizes, this trick will work with all your tabbing wire. The reason why you would like to actually order your cells pre-tabbed is because you're going to save money. Even though when you're ordering them, you might feel that buying a non-tabbed solar cells is going to save you money. In reality, you have money invested in solder, you have money invested in flux, and you also are going to probably have a higher damage rate with your cells. Um, they're extremely fragile. And the trick that I'm going to show you today is you can cut each one of your tabbing wires like this, like a lot of people actually have done. And this is also time consuming. Is you're going to measure your tabbing wire and to cover two cells on these <clears throat> is I'm going to take a measurement of these two cells and know that I'm going to need to be at six and a half inches. So I have to go over one positive side and then connect to the negative side on the other cell. And the distance with the gap that I'm using in the middle is about an eighth to a quarter on a cell. What I found, the trick, is a lot of times your cells come in a box and you've got a little piece of packing material. If you take the packing material which is the same size, or cut a piece of cardboard, the same size of your panel, and you start with your tabbing wire, and you just gently wrap in, in a very smooth fashion around your cardboard. Instead of wrapping this whole wire, what I'm going to do is when I come down here, I cut that off, I come over here, I just slide all my tabbing wire off, I cut one end, I therefore have the actual correct length of tabbing wire prior to do that. The other reason I found like I like to do that is I will cut and I'll wrap pretty much a whole spool. Most of your tabbing wire ends up just like this. This trick in itself will benefit a lot of the new beginners out there and appreciate sharing the trick with you. This is Brett again at ShySky.com.